Hello YouTube and welcome to Gromforks. This is episode 87 of the Interplanetary Voyage of Exploration and this will be kind of a little bit shorter episode. Um, I was actually planning to do a 2000 subscriber special but I need one or two final pieces of technology. Large engine clusters and the 5 meter fairings. To do so I have decided to actually um, we have a 129 days until our dual nuke probe 2 returns to Kerbin. So I have actually decided to uh, wait with a 2000 subscriber special until we return that and unlock these two science nodes. Uh, so our nuke probe to Kerbin is en route and coming ever so closer. So let us accelerate time a little bit in the effort and hope to successfully retrieve it back from Kerbin, to retrieve the nuke probe to Kerbin. And we also have the advanced lander Eve at Kerbin containing Mike J. But I think that one will be coming after the 2000 subscriber special. At, by the way, at the point of this recording, uh, we are not yet at 2000 subscribers, but we are at 1995. So I'm kind of hoping by the time this episode airs, we would have already gone past the 2000 subscribers mark. So, but I very much appreciate your subscription. Thank you very much, guys, for watching the channel. Um, it helps me out a great deal, and I'm actually enjoying recording uh, this episode for you guys. So, uh, I will not talk much about the 2000 subscriber special, but I will just say one thing. It's gonna be pretty big. And the episodes are gonna last a little bit longer because, well, the thing that I'm trying to build cannot be done within like 15 or 20 or even 30 minutes. So, okay. Mm, enough with the teaser for uh, the special episodes. We have just returning this Julnook probe ahead of us, and that's gonna be happening in roughly seven days, or the SOI change will be happening in seven days, and we have one hour until our maneuver burn. It's a small burn, just with 11 meters per second, but we still have to... I guess I'm a little bit on my toes in terms of getting this probe because it has a bountiful amount of science. It has served us so well in the Julian system. So, <clears throat> yeah, every time when I'm returning a ship with high amounts of science, I'm a little bit edgy. So, trying to find where Kerbin, Moon and Minmus are. Okay, 11 meters per second done. And let's just toggle the SAS and hopefully, hopefully it should be enough. Okay, uh, seven days until the transfer. And yeah, let's see how that fares. Hitting the time acceleration and I believe we can see Kerbin, Moon and Minmus dancing in the background. There are just tiny specks, but they are increasing in size little by little as our probe glides through the vast voids of space towards Kerbin. Okay, we are almost at a sphere of influence change and boom! There we go. Our periapsis is 41,000 meters and that's not acceptable. I want it to be around 20 so that we can actually be aero captured around Kerbin. And I also want to be able to deploy my parachutes, yeah. So let us just make a small radial burn and actually get a little bit below the 25,000 mark. As we, long as we are between 20 and 25, I'll be happy. So, coming up ever so closer on our maneuver burn. <clears throat> okay, very small burn, and we are at, at 18. 
a little bit close, but I think I'm gonna roll with it. Okay, time to prepare this bad boy for re-entry. Our um, community turn 32 is extended. Great. Uh, we want to extend the community. Communitron 8888 because it's a shorter range antenna and we can close the big uh, antenna hopefully I'm just gonna do first all the <coughs> alignments so orbit retrograde sure we're gonna also yeah close the reflectron GX 128 we don't need it anymore screenshot as we are coming home and let us do some time warping. Perfect. Beautiful screenshot and Kerbin is growing larger by the minute. Well, our faithful Nuke Probe 2 is returning home. Okay, I think we're now around 1,000 kilometers, so I might as well <coughs> start retracting, yeah, 900 kilometers, so we're now retracting the solar panels and getting ready for the aero break. I will be probably priming the shoots. I do want to make sure that all of them pre-deploy and deploy in roughly similar altitudes. So I'm also arming the shoots. And you, I want to deploy a little bit further down and pre-deploy slowly. So it will be in stages, that's for sure. Okay. Toggle info. Okay, so symmetry works its thing, so just a matter of arming all of them. Because we have to rem keep in mind that once we are actually in atmosphere, there's a good chance we will not have any control over this vessel. So we have to prepare everything beforehand. Which means also includes also closing down this communitron. Okay, 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 I'm getting a little bit troubles in terms of... Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Deactivate. Perfect. And it seems that our communitron is working correctly because we can still control the ship. Beautiful. We're gonna be holding orbit retrograde and... I'm kind of hoping that at 18 kilometers it should be more than enough that we get stably arrow captured and that the shoots will deploy. Thankfully enough this is 0 0.90 so heating is not a thing otherwise I think this probe would be like deep fried because we're coming at 4000 meters per second 4.5 thousand meters per second which would be enough to very nicely cook the probe anyway. So Severe heating effects and some very decent aero braking, if I dare say so myself. Periaps is dropping. We are definitely going down this time. Our periapsis is already below the horizon, so 20 kilometers. Our shoots are starting to deploy, mainly first the drogue shoots and then the main shoots as we are decelerating they are only pre-deployed until we get to some decent altitude so far we are looking good passing the cloud layer 10 kilometers surface speed 100 meters per second and we are 4000 meters above sea level we are in the highlands so I'm slightly concerned but all of the data has been kept in the probe, so I'm kind of hoping the probe would survive the impact. We are at 500 meters above sea level, and now uh, we can actually kick a little bit time acceleration, I think. 
until we get the last 100 meters and here we go exciting moment come on I only need the probe core to survive but I'm kind of hoping that even more will survive oh and ouch okay well, something blew up but seems that <coughs> we are more or less happy perfect 2384 science gained awesome that would give me enough science to unlock what I need so speaking of it which even bigger fairings 500 science thank you heavyweight well I'm not gonna go with this because I need the engines large engine clusters rocketry Titan that is like five meter engine and super cluster we don't have yet enough experimental advanced stability I will actually need the 5 meter SAS because I need the 5 meter part so I'm thinking about unlocking that one let's just quickly yeah I think I'm gonna go with that one okay guys uh, I guess we'll call it an episode and thank you very much for watching like if you like the episode hit subscribe for more KSP content that should be coming soon and soon will be coming the special thank you again and this is Grumforks signing off.